Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Render. In this tutorial we will introduce you to a new feature in Maverick called Parametric Lightbox. The lightbox is a new type of node meant to be connected to the IBL which creates a fully parametric virtual room. If we go to the IBL node we will find a new roll-up labeled Parametric Lightbox. Let's turn it on and click on the lightbox plug to create and connect a new lightbox node. The ambience composer displays the lightbox projected spherically towards the environment. As you can see the lightbox is a room with panels as walls, ceiling and floor which lets the IBL map be seen through the disabled panels. If we disable panels one by one we will see how the IBL map still shines through from the background. The lightbox comes handy when we want clean cut illumination and reflections in our objects. Let's overview the attributes available in the lightbox node. There is an exposure control and a toggle for ambient occlusion. If we disable ambient occlusion the walls will be flat colored, which kills a bit the illusion of a three-dimensional room. We may configure the intensity of each wall separately, as well as each wall's distance to the center of the room. This way we can simulate a wider or a narrower room depending on our needs. In this example we will disable the ceiling to receive IBL light from above. Next we will configure the lightbox's rotation to better match the IBL map underneath. Once the rotation is set we may rotate the whole IBL node with its map and its lightbox together. Let's configure the lightbox a bit more. The intensity of the underlying IBL map and the lightbox can be configured separately. We have added some ambiences that use the lightbox feature to our library. You may drag and drop some of them to see what settings we used and what they look like. Ambiences with a lightbox are an excellent start point to later create your own lights on top as they provide a neutral environment. Ideal for product visualization. Let's now unplug the lightbox node and create a new one. We will drop the lightbox to the nodal editor and then attach some gradient lights to the wall panels. This way we will simulate a room with lights for walls. Let's plug one gradient light to all the walls and the ceiling. The ambient occlusion toggle becomes important now as we don't want ambient occlusion to wrongly dim our gradient lights. Next we will configure the intensity for each wall. The ambience composer reacts to your changes continuously. We have added a new section to the ambiences library with some ambiences created with gradient lights. You may drop some of them to see their settings and what they look like. Let's open now a sample scene to see what the lightbox feature does on a real case scenario. We will pick one of our diamond rings and drop an ambience with a lightbox. We will see how the results are fantastic right away. Let's compare with and without a lightbox. By toggling the lightbox on and off we will see how the IBL alone contaminates the metal with different shadows and hues. The lightbox helps clean up the parts of the IBL that bother us and create a much more neutral environment that will make our metals shine more cleanly. And then fine tune the lightbox to your liking, pushing or pulling the walls, adjusting the intensity or color the way you like. Let's wrap this tutorial up by dropping another ambience to see what happens when the lightbox is toggled on and off. As you can see the new lightbox node is a very useful addition to Maverick's scene illumination arsenal of tools. This is all for now. See you in the next video. Have fun rendering with Maverick.